Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing the use custom metadata types and formulas, default values, and validation rules modules. We're already a little bit underway in the sense, or because this is already done. Um, we have created this default value on the account. And now what we're going to do is start from here with this recording. So reference custom metadata types in validation rules. It says from the account details page, go ahead and click new roll up field and sum the amount field on the child opportunities related to a given parent account. Now, the interesting part about that is that the amount field will not show up uh, in terms of the available fields that you can sum from the child opportunity if, if uh, you have enabled advanced currency management. So we're going to see what happens now if we disable that. Uh, remember, we could not previously see the amount there, so we're going to come back. This will make me start from scratch. Go roll up summary. Click next. Do total spending. Click next. We're going to do the opportunities. We're going to sum, and then we're going to go amount. So there she be. Interesting. Uh, quirk there of Salesforce that you can't do those currency roll-ups if you have advanced currency management enabled, which actually kind of makes sense in terms of preserving historical data. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, and click next and save. And then from the account page, this would be that. Click validation rules, create a new validation rule, and then let's call it minimum spending validation. Okay, you can copy and paste the following error condition formula. And so I will do that. Um, for the error message, we want to provide to the user, we will say, the dollar value is too low for the support tier. So basically what this is saying is we're creating a validation rule and we're gonna look at the um, Yeah, okay, so this is a field, this must be a pick list value on the, the account, which has uh, bronze, silver, and gold on it. And we're just gonna say for the particular account that we're looking at, um, we're gonna sum up the amount of its child opportunities. And we're gonna be like, all right, this account is gonna make us a lot of money or it's not just solely based on that one field value. And if it's greater than the values that we've sort of predefined as being you know, high spending and low spending accounts in this custom metadata type, in terms of what support tier they should get, uh, then we're going to be like, all right, they're not spending anything based on an amount field from the child ops. Therefore, they get a crappy uh, or relatively crappy support plan. But if they're spending a lot, then they're going to get a gold gold support plan, whatever those minimum spending thresholds are that we put in the custom edit data type. So that's actually probably a pretty real life scenario, um, aside from the fact that it you have to think a little bit more about how to set those thresholds for multiple currencies. So yeah, there we go. There it is. Uh, could check the validation rule. Now let's check the validation rule. Um, fair enough. All of these uh, fields, I assume, are on the page layout that we need them to be. So creating an account, this will probably be necessary for the challenge. Um, create an opportunity for that account. Great. Okay. For stage, select. Close one for close date. Select the current date and then click save. Okay, now from the Beebs publishing account, Try to change the support tier, the support tier to gold. And you can't because I haven't spent enough. So we know that our validation rule is working and uh, it's talking to that custom metadata type. The three records for that. Now, what do we want to do? Reference a custom metadata type field in a formula. Wow, what a module, what a module. Going on long here. Yep. Speeding things up, create a formula field that returns a currency called amount until next tier on the opportunity, pardon on the account. 
um, in the enter formula, select the advanced formula tab. Now copy and paste that. Click check syntax. There it is. So basically just saying whatever the amount is that they're spending right now, uh, based on the total spending field, if it's less than the bottom tier support minimum spending threshold, then take however, whatever that the minimum spending threshold is minus they're spending right now, and then that's how much they have to go. And then you repeat that for the next couple of layers. So kind of another cool way to say how much money do they need to spend in order to be eligible for a higher premium level of service. And we will click next, next and save and ensure that it is added to the account layout. Yep. So now let's check the formula that it works. So we will go to the Beeps publishing account layout and change the support tier type to bronze. And it already is. Now we're going to edit the opportunity record uh, so that the amount is 700 and save that and then come back to the account. So So I don't know really honestly what happens uh, when this occurs, but that page or that field should be added to the page layout. So we can see the um, amount until next tier. So the amount until the next tier would be silver. So it'd be $1,000 for the minimum spending threshold of silver minus 700. So it would say 300, but for whatever reason, uh, regardless of the page layout, it's not showing up even though it should be. So that is fine. And then what does it want us to do for the hands-on challenge? And lastly, for the challenge, create a validation rule that says, if the pickless value support tier is gold and the annual revenue is less than 20 times, um, I mean, this kind of seems stupid. If it's less than 20 times the minimum amount, then, then throw an error that says, your annual revenue is less than 20 times the minimum spending amount of the golden support tier. So maybe, yeah, yeah, it's okay. Well, it's not so stupid. The previous ones were saying, look at the amount in the opportunity field. So uh, given an account can have an annual revenue that's, you know, small in relationship to the minimum spending amount of the gold support tier, but maybe they do qualify for the gold support tier because they've just got so many opportunities that have a large amount, but we still wouldn't offer that them to them because of their annual revenue being small.